By controlling our thought processes, we can change the reality of what we are now to a different reality. We can do this now using your dream vacation. However, we will need a checkpoint. So write down how you feel right now. What is reality for you at this moment? Reality is only in the now. Thus, what you wrote down is past, and it is already a new now. We must measure reality in seconds, not days or years. Change the reality for you in the now simply by making a decision. Write down at this time when you want to take your vacation. Make it realistic within your present time commitments. Look at your destination and the time frame. Are you really serious? If you are, then make the commitment to go. Make the commitment to yourself to go to such and such place on the date that you wrote down. The reality of what was two minutes ago is no longer the reality of now. By your commitment, your emotions have begun to change. The decision is causing your subconscious mind to change. Now, if you are really serious about that commitment, you will right now call or write a travel agency near your home and have them send you flight and tour information, all that they have on your planned destination. As you hang up the phone or finish the letter, you're going to feel different. What do you feel? Well, let's carry this exercise out further to the future. When you receive all the travel information, you'll look at it and decide on a specific tour. Call the travel agent and make the reservations. At what point in time do you start to feel good? At what point do you start to feel excited? When you get there? After you've gone? No, the point at which you start to feel good is the moment you conceive of your vacation in the mind. And that feeling intensifies as you make the decision leading to the actual trip. The moment you conceive it in the mind and hold the image is the point at which you start to build desire. Desire that will result in your taking that trip. You put some money aside. You notice clothes that would be appropriate to your destination. Your reality has changed, and yet you're not there. You begin to count down the days. It becomes closer and closer. You're scheduling the time off. You buy the last-minute stuff, and still you're not there. The reality is that you are still doing the exact things you always have been doing. Life still is going the same way. You're not on your vacation. Finally, the day comes, you get in the car or the taxi to go to the airport, and in reality, it's still the same. But your feelings are all different. Your desire is so powerful that you have manifested what you wanted and, in fact, are already reaping what you sowed. And still, you're not there. Yet, you are experiencing the joy, the thrill, and the excitement. Finally, you arrive. At what point in time did you start feeling good, feeling okay? Before you got on the plane? Before you got the tickets? You began feeling good the moment you made the decision to go in the direction you wanted to go. You had to make the decision and the commitment to create what you wanted for reality. When you create in your mind what you want to be and make that decision, your whole being begins to change. This is desire. This is how you create desire. 